Hey Dragonfly Swarm, so with Genshin Impact 2.3's release, we were given access to Goro in his Hangout event, in which we were allowed to demo his playable kit, and through this, the Genshin community became too stunned to speak. Goro is absolutely game-changing for Geo enthusiasts. Similarly to how Kujo Sara is regarded as an exclusively Electro team support, Goro performs best when paired on Mono Geo teams, and his ability to increase the team's total damage output is actually terrifying. You see, Goro's kit revolves entirely around his elemental skill and his burst, which both are actually pretty much the same ability, but the burst allows you to walk around with his buff rather than being restricted to where his skills buff zone is. Nonetheless, at level 11, Goro's skill grants a staggering 392 defense to party members with just Goro in the party, and then a 15% Geo damage bonus with Goro and two other Geo members in the party. It also deals just above 200% damage and generates 1-2 to two particles, which isn't that great, but in a mono Geo team, you won't need to worry about energy much anyways. Goro's burst, while granting his buffing aura, also periodically triggers crystal collapses that deal 98% of his defense as geo damage at level 8, which is actually pretty nice off-field damage. But I think the craziest thing here is that Goro is buffing an element that is already heavily buffed just for existing. Geo is an element that can't perform offensive elemental reactions to multiply its damage output, and that's how most DPS characters rely on dealing viable damage, but in Geo's case, they have the formidable Geo resonance passive and higher than usual scaling to compensate. So with Goro coming to the game as a massive defense and geo damage booster, characters like Ito, Noel, and Albedo, and I guess even Ningguang despite she doesn't scale with defense, are going to become exponentially stronger, and they could genuinely end up changing the way Geo is seen by the community, all thanks to Goro. But Goro's interest as a god tier Geo support doesn't even end with his ability to buff your team's damage, because he can also quite surprisingly buff his own damage, turning him into an off-field DPS as well as a massive buffer. With his second ascension passive, the initial slam damage from Goro's skill and burst, plus the periodic crystal collapse damage from his burst, are all increased by a percentage of his maximum defense, which he can also boost. So not only is he buffing his team's damage, but he's also buffing his own damage, and especially with the periodic burst explosions, he becomes an actually formidable hybrid between an amazing geo damage buffer and an off-field sub DPS. And because of the way his kit works, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that his best in slot artifact set will definitely probably be the four-piece Husk of Opulent Dreams. Goro is able to trigger the maximized four-piece passive very easily, and the defense bonuses on top of the geo damage bonuses will scale his damage output very nicely nicely, further reinforcing his spot as not only a huge buffer for his team's damage, but his own off-field damage as well. And this kind of plays into a point that I wanted to make about Goro anyways. Kujo Sara and Goro are similar in that they both act as exclusive damage buffers for their element, but Kujo Sara's kit is really clunky and requires her to be on field for too long, and this inherently makes her a much less ideal choice as a support than other characters. Goro is the exact opposite of that, however. His entire kit is based around quickly swapping on to activate his buffs and his off-field damage, then swapping out so his team can take care of everything else, and that is actually the formula for a god tier support in Genshin Impact. You see, characters like Xiangling, Singsho, and Bennett need very little on-field time to find value and impact in their kits, and because of this, the team can focus its main DPS with on-field time while the support does their supporting from off the field. <laughs> and as such, these three characters are widely and commonly regarded as some of the strongest support units in the entire game, and they're not even 5 stars. This is why I'm gonna go ahead and vouch for Goro as a genuine game changer in Genshin Impact, because he's honestly the first support that we've seen in a very long time that behaves similarly to the god tier supports, in that he doesn't need much on-field time at all to get value out of his kit. So, overall, Goro seems to be on track to propel Geo into the forefront of the quote-unquote meta, if there even is a meta, because of his great versatility, multi-purpose gameplay, massive damage buffing, and his ability to do it all while off-field. Thank you for coming to my Geo Rock Rock Impact Rock video discussion, Rock. I, uh... I will be min-maxing Ito and Goro just to prove any non-believers that Geo is the way to go. Until then though, I compel you to subscribe if you want to, of course, because <clears throat> it would really help the channel. Or you can join my Discord server, or follow me on Twitch, because I love hanging out with people on stream. I get lonely. Alright, I'ma go continue to be scammed by the new artifact domain. I'll see you when I get a good crit circlet, so uh, never. <laughs> uh, uh.